going on guys? It is Nova, and um, today we're going to be doing something completely out of the ordinary, something that I've never done before, and I honestly never thought it would happen, but basically guys, my Razor Krakens either broke, glitched, or something happened, I'm not too too sure what happened, um, but basically the audio when I went to edit the video that you guys are watching right now, it was completely messed up, like the audio was completely scratched, it was like, it was like that, but you could still hear my voice and stuff like that, but it was horrible, it was like, the worst like quality ever and i cannot put that guys out like put that i cannot put that quality out for you guys so basically i'm just gonna explain what happened in this video as you guys could see i am finishing watering the walls from um what happened like what we did last video and um before i even continue i'm just gonna say that this will be a hundred percent the last outside base building episode for a while after this we're gonna be doing interior and then after that we are going to be doing PvP, well, maybe we're going to be doing PvP at the next episode, I guess we're going to have to see. But basically, guys, we're going to take a break from all the base building because we've gotten a ton of that in, so we're probably going to do three to four episodes of either interior or base building slash rating, I mean, so, sorry, PvP slash rating and all that fun stuff. So basically, guys, I'm sorry that my audio glitched in after I commentate like this, but I don't really think it's that big of a deal. So basically, what I am doing right now is, this is a scaffolding for the left shooters, and I wanted to show this in this video in particular, just because I have never showed you guys having gen corner pillars, and I really don't do it that often, I'm not going to lie. So, um, this is just how I do it. I'm pretty sure that this isn't the best and most like efficient way to do it, because you have to mine the obby afterwards. And I think right now I'm just explaining, like, I don't even remember what I was commentating, but basically I think I'm just explaining that when you do pour the lava for it, you have to break that block, and then, or you have to pour the lava and then break the block, so right now I'm just making, like, what keeps the lava in place, as you guys can see, so, um, that's pretty cool, and I just want to explain some future series that are coming up, guys. Basically, they're... For like my long time subscribers I've been around since probably around 1.5k subs and stuff like that. You guys will know that I had a prison series, not my um, prison anarchy series, but it was a server called Prison, uh, Rexroar Prison. It was a great server, it was a ton of fun and stuff like that. And um, basically what it was is just a really fun prison server and then on that server I actually did question and answers which like you guys will leave a comment and I would show the comment on the screen and it would be like Hey Nova, um, what is your mouse sensitivity? That's just an example. You guys could ask me anything. Like a lot of people are like, hey, Sir Nova, who's your daddy and stuff like that. I guess super funny questions. And I'm sorry if I'm sounding like bland and boring right now, guys. I mean, I'm honestly kind of just irritated about this video and stuff like that. I really don't know why it glitched like that, but it just did. But anyways, back onto the present topic. Basically, guys, um, it's going to be a lot of fun. The server is owned by Saint X, and I've been talking to him for a while. The server has been in development for a, a good... A good three months to say the very least and maybe at max six months so it's definitely been a very customized server and they've taken their time with making sure that there was no bugs and it's a great playable experience so you guys will get the IP to that once I start recording on there I do not know it at the top of my head I believe it's jail.code jail.co so I'm gonna be sort like starting to record on there so I was planning on origin keeping that on Monday having prison on what day is that um, what day is that? I can't even think of it. Wednesday. And then Friday? Wait. Yeah, Friday Gong Shroller. And then Saturday. I don't know. Something like that, guys. I don't know. I, we're going to figure it out. But another series that I wanted to start is obviously Dagon. Right? I mean, I'm going to be joining a faction called Axis. I have not talked about this at all to you guys. But basically, Axis is a combination of three big, big factions. It's going to be a combination of my faction mob, as you guys know. A mob with like it's 17 members I believe and then we're gonna be combining with 420 which they play on origin and then we're gonna be combining with uh, rock solid wolves and they have been very inactive as of late and they haven't been playing at all and I'm um, I'm just gonna take off my uh, what should I call it? my headphones because I don't even know, even know why I have them on but basically as rock solid wolves so I believe that we had 70 members overall in the faction so it's gonna be absolutely insane where I think that we're gonna get destroyed egg on her like, obviously, our number one competition is going to be Plebs slash Gangra. I didn't know that they were going to have a ton, like, ton of members, too, but, like, I think that I really do have a good feeling about this map in Dagon. I think that we're going to do very well with this new, um, Rock Solid Wolves, Turmoil slash 420 team. That's a great combo. And as you guys can see on screen right now, I am actually doing the sponge on the, whatchamacallit, on the bottom of the base. Me and the curry lover are doing it, so I didn't actually contribute that much, but I was just showing you guys what we were doing on the bottom. So we're just placing sponge, so when we do pour the lava, it, the lava stops at the sponge level, 
and then once we pour water that also stops the sponge level. It just makes it so much easier and you don't have to do textures or anything like that. And also guys, if you did not know the purpose of sponge on sky bases, it's just so that people can't climb up on your base super super easy. And basically that's the only purpose of it. You just don't want your water, it would just look super ugly if your water was going towards the ocean and stuff like that. So as you guys can see in this clip, we are already at the genning stage. It did not take that long at all. Genning corner pillars is absolutely the easiest thing to gen by far. So honestly, don't build them. Do not hand build them. I do not recommend that at all. I mean, it's just a big waste of time if you hand build them. Just do it like this. This is the method I use. I think it's very easy. I'm not going to lie. Like, we did all this in a probably a matter of an hour and a half so it's not bad at all and um as you guys can see this is how you do it what you're gonna do is place lava and then you're gonna break the block under it so i'm about to do it i'm about to do it all right so break place i'm in place break has completely mixed up what i was saying so basically that's all you do and then you are basically set and as you guys can see on the sides of those walls on the right and in front of you i did not water the wall like the ends of the walls just because you want to have that room to gin corner fillers i mean I don't know if it really affects it, but I guess that I'd rather be safe than sorry, so that's what I did. And also, guys, I think I'm going to start not uploading in 1080p 60fps, because that's because I cannot handle it. Videos take way too long to upload, and I honestly don't think it's worth it, so I think what I'm going to do is just upload in 1080p. It will still be decent quality, and the videos will still be scheduled, which is nice, but it will just take, like, half the time, if not, like, more than that, which is going to be absolutely amazing. I mean, I could do the 1080p 60fps for shorter videos, I don't think that'd be a very big deal. But for like the 17, 18, 19, 20 minute videos, it's just absolutely crazy. Like, I know that you guys love it and stuff like that, but it's honestly super, super duper hard to do. So that's another update on the channel. And um, also, I'm going to start trying to do collabs with other YouTubers and, YouTubers and stuff like that. And um, actually, Abusive Admin just got a super, super big collab with um, D-Field. I mean, I thought that was insane, um, how we got that hookup on the Archon, so. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get hookups with other YouTubers, because I think like, you guys would like to, like, maybe you're, like, I think that'd be cool if you had, like, a big YouTube, like, you like, really like my channel, and you really like that to say that, like, that badass's channel or something like that. I really, really do think that you guys would enjoy to see that, like, me recording with, like, another YouTuber that you like, and, um, as you guys can see here, I'm just showing the corner pillars, the end of the corner pillars and stuff like that. And um, they look very nice. They look super clean and stuff like that. I found one hole in the beginning, or at the end of this clip, which was not that big of a deal. But I guess fix it. Fix it. It was a one block hole. And as you guys can see, these corner pillars look absolutely amazing. The only thing I have to do on them now, as I showed in the end of the episode, it's like the last minute, I believe. And I um I still have a raid plan for you guys in this episode. I mean, I, it's crazy. This is like jam packed episode for sure. But anyways, guys. I showed a hole and stuff like that, and the holes on the right, you guys just might have saw it. Yeah, it's right there. I think I just saw it. So, anyways, guys, I filled that in, and that is the end of the corner pillars. And um, I just said that I'm just gonna water them tomorrow because I'm just so tired, and I still have a lot of stuff to do tonight. And it is 1 a.m. I still have to do my workout. I do a daily workout. Usually, I run 1.8 miles, and I guess use a function bag because. Um, I know it's a long story and stuff like that, but that's what usually what I do when I do an ab finisher. But anyways, beside the point, I still have a lot of other stuff to do tonight, so I was just like, screw it. <clears throat> I guess I will just water them tomorrow. I just hope that I do not get, like, um, them scattered out, because I would definitely really suck. I'm not gonna lie, that would suck ass. So anyways, guys, I'm just mining this right here. And then also, about this raid at the end of- Oop, I just dropped something. But anyways, guys, about this raid at the end of the video, my friend, um, what's his name, actually TP'd me into it, it was his base, um, Pole, his name, his real name is Silent, but that was his base, and he just started to play with us, and at the beginning of the map, because he has a donor rank, he has made that to just store armor and stuff like that, no big deal, like, no big deal, and then once, um, he joined our faction, he was like, yeah, you could raid this as, um, a video clip, so I thought that was pretty cool, and it's a, it was a pretty nice base, I'm not gonna lie, I liked it, so we moved all the stuff, transferred it all over, so, I don't know, it's kind of a gift slash raid, I'm just gonna consider it a raid, because, you know, I was like that, so, this guys, uh, this is basically the end of the episode, at least the commentary, but I just want you guys to know that I always do read comments, even if I don't respond to them all, I honestly do read every single comment. There's not a single comment that goes by that I do not read. One, because it goes to my email, and two, I usually watch over my videos and I go through the comments, so I double check all the comments, so it really means a lot to me when you guys leave, do leave great feedback, it just means a ton to me, and um, you guys have no idea, and uh, if you guys could leave a like on this episode, that'd be absolutely amazing. I'm just trying my best to get back to where I was for you guys, you know, that good, like, I, I used to get, honestly, 
1.8k views per video, which was honestly amazing. And uh, as you guys can see, this freaking sponge on the bottom of the base looks absolutely sexy. I like it so much. It honestly just looks beautiful. And then I also talked in this video about how we were going to have a fall grinder, and that's going to be their creeper pigment or enderman, whatever I think is most worth it. So I think that's going to be pretty cool. And we're also going to have an XP grinder, uh, what's that thing called? A volt and an um, automatic brewer. So that's all that we need. And I think that we could fit in the base. We already have a ton of armor, at least a few dubs of armor. So we're going to be PvP and like crazy. We're going to own the server in PvP. I think it's going to be absolutely awesome. You guys have no idea. I mean, between me, Silent, and Schmozzy, we are three pretty solid PvPers. We aren't bad at all. And um, also, there's some good fallback guys. Like the curry lever isn't too, too bad at all. And I just dropped something again. I'm being real smooth. But the curry lever isn't that bad at all. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm going to end it off here. You guys are going to see the raid on screen in just a few seconds here. And then it, was, it wasn't it was bad at all. It was decent. I guess for him not really playing and storing his kits at any time on the map, it really wasn't bad at all. So I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. So, uh, yeah, peace out.